Well, people and experts say a lunchtime staple is in need of a makeover. That's right. Fox 5's Kendall Green tells us how to make sandwiches more healthy. If you're hungry and you're caught in the shuffle, chances are you're going to stop somewhere and grab a sandwich similar to what's here. But chances are it's not the best thing for your health. Twice a week, I would say I eat a sandwich. Lenny is one of hundreds of customers that dropped by the Hungry Hero to grab his usual, a turkey with cheese. Probably like 300 to three, 400 sandwiches a week, about. The hundreds of sandwiches could mean bad news for your health if George and his staff there weren't as health conscious. Because it has mayonnaise, I would switch out the mayonnaise for something more healthier, like a pesto, because uh, olive oil, um, olive oil, and then maybe instead of cheese, I would put avocado. Sandwiches are not all created equally. Lisa Moscovich, the author of the Core 3 Healthy Eating Plan, says he's got the right idea. It's the content that counts the type of bread that you're eating, the type of meat or protein that you're putting in there, if there's any fiber in there, sandwiches that have very little to no vegetables or even fruit, because sometimes fruit can go in a sandwich. We do offer the healthier side of it. If you if you go with a turkey sandwich rather than having a sliced turkey, uh, that we, we cook our own turkey breast and we, you know, we put our own seasoning so it's not processed. It's no surprise for customers that the wrong sandwich every day could come with its consequences. Processed meat and all of that, right. but at the same time, everybody's got to eat, right? But his order a couple of times a week comes with less worry. Quick, wrap, ready to go. So if you just can't curb the craving, nutritionists suggest you try the healthiest option. On the Upper East Side, Kendall Grain, Fox 5 News.